So guys, for the first step, you want to get into this screen. Now to get here, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you want to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you want to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times and then on the fourth time, when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to be saying that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options. And now once we're on this, there are some things that we can try. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. It's now going to start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. And it's now going to start attempting repairs, wait for this to load. It's now going to boot you back into Windows, see if that fixes your problem. If that's still not working, then you want to come back into this screen like I show you how to do at the start of the video. And now once you're on this, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and now System Restore. If you have any restore points available on your computer, then you want to click on Next and then go back to your restore point, see if that works. If you don't have any restore points, that's fine, you want to click on Cancel. For the next method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and this time, uninstall updates. You want to uninstall the latest quality update. And then click on uninstall quality update. Once that's been uninstalled, see if that works. If not, we're going to go back, click on close. For the next method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And now this will come up. And now once we're on this, you want to type in sfc space forward slash scan now. And I click on enter. And you now want to run this scan. Wait for this to load, I'm going to skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now once that's been done, now you want to type in chkdsk space c colon space full slash f space full slash r and I click on enter. And you now want to run the scan as well. Wait for this to load. And now once that's been done, we can now close out of this. And now you want to continue to Windows, see if that works for you. For the last method, you want to come back to this screen like I show you how to do at the start of the video. Now once we're here, you want to click on Troubleshoot, and then reset this PC. If you don't have your files backed up, you want to click on Keep My Files. If you do have your files backed up, you want to click on Remove Everything. Now you want to reset your PC, and this should now fix your problem. 